All right, y'all. So I know I said that the uh, flathead wasn't going to return again until uh, we were ready to shoot some paint on it, but I required some assistance from my buddy Kyle, who has a YouTube channel himself, Kyle's Garage. So make sure you check that out. And we're going to attack these studs because he's more good at it than I. But uh, first, we, uh, we've got a hell of a selection of beers. You wanted a beer? Yes, we're going to have a beer. You want. Uh, Man, we got barrel aged, we got sour, we got Oktoberfest. You you choose, my friend. You're the bartender. Let's go sours. I'm gonna go double sours. We're gonna drink some sours. And we're going to try to get these broken studs out. So stay with us. Look at that color though. That is really pretty. You're better at pouring. I spilled a lot. <laughs> Alright, so I guess first things first is Kyle is much more knowledgeable on this stuff here. So I don't know if you really can really see it on the camera, but there is a little chip right here on the stud that I'm going to try and hammer and chisel without destroying these threads to break it more flush so that we can get a drill bit in there without snapping it and wallering all over so mm. might be able to just shear it right off try to make sure I can get some sort of angle at it this is not the best chisel in the world I some chisels this is kind of my lucky chisel because it saved me from so many things, but like it's kind of almost not a lucky chisel anymore because it's been used aggressively so hard for so many things. That might be enough. I think I saw a little thing fly off. Do you have any other chisels or punches? Um, you know what? I think I probably have both. I just knocked a little bit of it off, but no, I think I got some. Uh... Round two, Kyle take stab, literal. Oh my god! The shards of metal flying. <laughs> I'm gonna actually try to drive it around a little bit. I think I might be able to grab onto it. That rain in the background though too. Yeah, no doubt. Holy crap. No downpour. Can't wait for the uh flooded basement. Oh yeah, good times in the Michigan. Trying to get Yeah, I'm trying to drive it backwards. Yeah, I'm trying to get just a little bit without blinding you. Oh, it's all good. I'm trying not to keep my hand in the way either. Hey, man. All right, so what Kyle has done, basically, is, there we go. There was a nice sharp edge that I couldn't quite get with the chisel, and he eliminated that. It kind of did a little dimple in the center, which should help our dribble not walk 
give it a nice center to start and that's what we're going to do next. Alright. Have a Wish me luck. <laughs> I thought that sour was pretty good. Give me some lids. Give me a lid. Wow, all right, so where we are is with our little center punch, Kyle has started a nice small diameter hole, and he's going to go ever so slightly larger. Not yet, though. Not, not yet, yet? This is still the small drill. Not yet, yet, yet. I want to get just down to the more bottom. Deep. More deep. More deep, more deep, and then yep. you're going to go a uh, larger diameter after that, correct? Yep, then easy out. All right, Hopefully. so I'm going to let Kyle just get a little more deep, even though he said just the tip. <laughs> and then we're gonna go bigger. Oh, Ooh. I think I'm already through. Ooh. Oh, you got to see that on camera. That was. Hey. All right. All right. So. We're going for the best. WD-40. Lube for obvious reasons. And here goes our next step up. And I'm gonna double hand it here and try and keep him lubed as well as up at the camera. That's it? Yeah. So, and we're not going crazy, we're just stepping it up a little bit at a time. I'm gonna blast this with air. Patience. Headphone warning. Keep it clean. Woo! Alright, so, all we did, like I said, is we did the initial pilot hole basically went a little bit bigger and then we just went ever so slightly and larger with the next step up. I forget what the bit size was. But this is our reverse thread easy out whatever is supposed to pull this thing out. That Kyle had nicely lined up for me there. Yeah, I, was, I was gonna get it started and I was gonna have you turn it while I keep it straight. And that's still the T-handle from my little cheap Harbor Freight. Um, tap and die kit so we'll try to hold it as straight as possible we're gonna we look like doctors with our blue gloves I am a little bit tired of as much as a car guy I am I am very tired of being covered in the gross of this thing here lately yep. we'll start grabbing hopefully Oop, we're in there a little sideways here let's back out for a second all right try that we need to give her a little tap you think uh I would rather not. The easy out is supposed to be a hardened piece, and if you hit it with a hammer, it could break. Ooh. It's tough. You're gonna have to apply some force on it, probably. Like straight down. Use your muscles. I'm just trying to not let it tip. It's okay. Once it starts grabbing, it'll be okay. It's kind of a pain. We might have to go just a little bit bigger. You want to step her again? Yeah, I think I'm going to hit it with a little bit bigger grip. Bam. All right, so no more struggle busting to get this thing started, hopefully, because we think we just got it started. All right, and another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tap right here, probably with the ball peen side, as you're trying to do it, and hopefully some vibrations get through, and hopefully it helps that I get the hell out of there. All right. Is it biting in pretty hard? This seems like it's, I mean, I'm applying. You're, you're on still fingertip strength, so can't be too, too bad yet. All right, you see, you see what you think. Okay. Oh, we Before can that go thing snaps. Later. Oh yeah, see, I was afraid to snap that thing right off. 
It gets you confident, see? I would slowly but surely turn that thing in there for another half an hour. Another thing is, is you got to kind of be careful. It's just that hardened steel doesn't take well to like vibration and shock and shit, but the, the quality factor is in question. It is flexing quite a bit. feel about this easy out these things are sketchy this is and it's also just a cheap one that I got from Meyer. This is a black and decker this is not a high quality we had a lot of engagement on it Damn, I just don't know it's pretty deep we might have a better luck just keep going with our drills and uh, there's not much it. left of it there's really not it's still strong though hmm Try easy out in it some more. All right, so we're on what round three? Something and, like that. And what we've done now is we've actually gone larger diameter hole, larger diameter tap, and we're gonna try to. Hopefully, it goes on this one. If not, we'll just keep drilling until we. There's no bolt left. Ooh, hello. Oh, did that just? I don't know what that was. Oh, it slipped in the handle. Oh, did I not tighten it enough? Yep, nope. it's, it's sliding yep. in it. We suck. We suck. You can tighten it. It's fine. Alright. Oh man. You fucker. Is it grabbing that tight? It is, but I know that it doesn't take much past that to snap something. Wait. It's biting in hard. I didn't hold the mic in. Well, probably didn't want to have it there. She's bit in real hard, but I'm not willing to break it off. What do you think? You think keep drilling? I think I'm gonna maybe try to drive it backwards with a chisel. Like, uh, let's see if I can. Hopefully, it doesn't bite into the. All right, so round three of. Drilling the hole larger and going larger tap. There's very, very little left of the uh, bolt at this time, but you know, there's still something there to grab onto. Hoping for the best. I mean, worst case scenario, we don't have anything there, which is technically what we had in the first place. Yeah, so. Oh. Oh. Maxed out the tap know, holder. Dang. Uh, got a crescent wrench? Yeah. Something to that effect? Where am I? Well, these will work. This will work. Oh, yeah, that'll work. Or oh, up here. Oh, that'll be even better. My favorite tool in the world. A mini crescent? Any kind of crescent. Crescent. Croissant. Croissant roll. Oh, oh. Croissant wrench. Oh, oh, oh. Well, this feels much more sturdy. Bigger tool. Holy shist. Mm. Oh boy. It's uh Dang. I'm actually trying. I don't want to break it though, because it's gonna be painful for everyone. I don't have my hand there. Ah. Ooh, the air. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow we're blowing stuff up. Oh man. I'm giving her the beans too. That's the one I thought was gonna be the easy one to get out to. I can't believe that it's that freaking in there. Well, who knows how long it's been broke. 
Well, it looked recently broke, but I wonder how long it's been rusted in place. I broke it. Yeah, you broke it. But how long has it rusted in place? No, oh, who knows? A long time. Man. I mean, it was rebuilt at some point because it's 40 over, but... That bit in there really good. Yeah. There's so... Hopefully it doesn't ruin the thread. There's so, so very little metal left in here now. All right, y'all. So, where we are at, as we have done, every drill bit we can that's uh, oh, we need needle the appropriate metal. size. Oh, shit. We've gone largest, okay. easy out we can. Yeah, and he is going with a tap and a hammer. Just as you were talking, I you drove the this? last little bits out of it. It fell down in the water jacket, though, somewhere. Uh, maybe so, we can flush it out. With some... Uh, I think so. We should probably just have to clean this thread, the threads up, maybe. Yeah, because... There's a hole right here that's a water hole up top, too. But oh, I can't actually get in the camera. Yeah, you can actually see through it. But look how yeah, shitty look that, that is. But Hell yeah, so we'll clean those that. up. Hell yeah. But we have one more to do, and we will see how that fights us. But, I mean, you saw the struggle bus with this. We're going to probably, hopefully, struggle way less with that one. And we'll show clean up this thread, and we'll fucking move on. Yeah. Yeah. Bam, so Kyle has pretty much chiseled every last little bit of that bolt out. Uh, but as you can kind of, you actually can see how nice and clean this thread is and how not nice and clean this thread is. Well, Kyle's gonna make this thread look like this thread. And hopefully we have enough threads left and we didn't drill away too much of the head. Or this isn't the head, this is the block. Freaking. It's just where the, that stuff normally is. Wow, that's too easy. You can hear it though. I'm gonna drink beer and <laughs> watch Kyle do work. This is actually pretty uh, satisfying to watch. Good. Because I get to see it in uh, real time in on camera here. And, and now we can both produce an Ultra HD. Yeah, that's nice to have. Yeah, so our, both our videos will be getting much better from here on forward. And this actually looks pretty nice on my camera. Yeah, you got a nice camera set up. Yeah, but I got the light on my camera and the light from my little desktop here. Hell yeah. That felt really good, but I want to run it down one more time after we blow it out with some air. See, I want your camera. We might have threads that are usable. Is this out of my curiosity? Oh, Go dude, ahead. look. Look at that. Look at that. Bam. I'm gonna run it down one more time though to clean it completely out. Look, it's it's snug too. Yeah, I don't, I don't blame you. I don't know how strong that one's gonna be, so I might not torque that one as hard. That's all right, man. We can put a little bit of pressure on it, and with a thick piece of cast, uh, cast iron like that, I yep, think we'll be okay. I'm just gonna hit that one more time. It's a nice engine surface to work on. Everything's Dude, flat. the Jeep. I understand why people like the Jeeps now. They got the flat fenders, the flat hood. The block, the head, the, the engine Everything. sideways, like it's, it's a great workbench. Oh yeah. Shout out to Kyle. That's the one stud. That's the one I really wanted to get done. Because that will at least allow me pressure here and here. Oop. Here and here. So even if we can't get this other one out, it'll just have that one small gap in pressure. But... All this will be here. That's the one I really wanted fixed. But I think with the luck we just had with this, we'll get this one out too. So. And round one of stud two. We're attacking this thing the same way we did the same. Uh, well, he did. Uh, basically just starting a little pilot hole. And that's where we're going to start drilling and chiseling and 
doing a work at. So it's just kind of going to follow a similar concept, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Pretty much? Pretty much. Try to. Seem to work the first time. All right, well, let's do work, son. Yeah. Well, you do work. I'm going to keep ah. drinking beer letting <laughs> you do work. There's a stud two, round two. Uh, we've tried an easy out with the first set of drill bits, our first drill bit, and now he's back to Chisel hammering. By thread. Yeah. But, it, believe it or not, I mean, I know he's chiseling this thing piece by piece right now, but he didn't actually have to fight it that hard the first time. I don't think this one's going to fight him that hard either. It's just kind of a, a slow patience thing, kind of drilling away at it through the center, little bits at a time, and Just things that, that aren't 70 years old normally don't fight this bad. That's so true. So don't let how horrible this is deter you. But I mean, this is kind of a worst case scenario. You can go from broken studs to threads. So, uh, again, like I said, I, as I glove your face, um, the reason that I didn't want to pull the intake manifold off was because of this exact situation. I was also afraid because of it being a thick piece of cast iron and so old, I didn't want it to crack. Luckily, uh, neither the intake or exhaust, exhaust manifold cracked, but I did have one of the two problems happen. But, don't want to deter you. I mean, that was a big part of this engine that I wanted to get off, but I was letting it deter me because of this. But it, it happened but it's fixable so and, and imagine this engine being completely cleaned up and then having the ugly exhaust and intake manifold on it uh, i'm yeah. almost heartbroken but now we can do that with a day's worth of work so Whee! <laughs> <laughs> perseverance uh, pays off yeah where are we now we're bolt two round three or four many rounds yeah, after doing everything we did to this one, we're, that's basically where we're at, except uh, much more chiseling. And Kyle is now slowly working the threads into this thing, and it's actually cutting what's left of the bolt out of it. Yeah, it's working as where good. we're at. But it's yeah, it's been a very long, slow, uh, heavy perseverance task. But I don't think we're going to see success just yet. But we're getting very, very close to it. Yes, but, we uh, are. When I fire the camera up next, we're probably going to, I don't know, just let the intake, ma intake manifold on just because we'll be able to now. And uh, take a nice look at the threads and probably wrap the episode up. Bow, so stud two is out. We are done. We have clean threads again. Thanks and huge shout out to Kyle. This was a good thread anyway right here, but these two right here. And like I said, I didn't have to do this, but I had gaskets for everything. We're gonna rebuild the carburetor. And it would have been just a shame to wire wheel this entire engine, regasket this entire engine, and not to do this uh, and take an exhaust manifold that just don't have them in I'm not gonna split these because I am confident that all of these bolts will crack and I'll probably damage this and I don't want to do that but I mean yeah bow that is a huge success huge success so shout out to Kyle badass hey yeah Alright, so we're wrapping this episode up and we're just going to freestyle it like just we did the entire episode. This Pretty was much. not a planned thing. I kind of just asked him to come over and help me. We do each other's favors all the time. So, I know that I said, I still got my safety goggles on, <laughs> that uh, you weren't going to see this engine again until it was stripped down, painted, and ready for reassembly. But that was actually a really hard that thing was... that like most people, it scares everybody. It scared me. Oh, I asked you for help, so... Um, I've got a little bit of experience dealing with this kind of crap, so I was glad to help, honestly. That was kind of fun. And it's not mine, so if I break it, it's yours. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's, it's my it's my problem still. <laughs> like, <laughs> right. uh, but no, we had success with it, and like I, you know, I just showed you, now we can 
I'll regasket that intake and exhaust manifold. It'll make a good seal. We're going to have a good sounding, good yeah. sealed, correct running, 70 year old, cool engine, you know? I bet it runs just fine. Oh, yeah, I think it's going to run fantastic. I mean, and it's going to look fantastic now that I can wire wheel the intake, intake and exhaust manifold combo. And that's going to let me get to better spots at the block as well. And again, we're replacing all the seals on it. So, yep. ain't going to be leaky and gross. Well, I rebuild the, the, you know, basically the entire engine, rebuild the car, but then not replace those gaskets. Yeah. You know? A little silly. But, uh, again, check out Kyle's channel too. Yeah, uh, Kyle's Garage yeah, on Kyle, YouTube. Yeah, Kyle's Garage, YouTube. He works on all kinds of car stuff like I do. You've been working on your mini, mini bike. bike a lot. I yeah, tell like, him a little bit about your mini bike. I'm going to try and steal some of your footage and throw it on here. Yeah, so. sure. Go ahead. But no, I've just been building a mini bike right now and just getting it going. Uh, going to be doing a lot of other interesting things, though, too. I have a couple Fords, so just swing by the channel and check it out. See if it's something you like. I'll try and link it in here one way or another. Right. I'm not that great of a YouTuber, but... <laughs> We're learning. Yeah. That's all I got for you on this episode. Uh, thanks for tuning in. We kind of just had a couple beers and made this thing happen. Um, I'm sure we probably could have described what we were doing. We did okay. Yeah. I mean, we did okay. So it's more of a visual thing, anyway. Don't let these things scare you. I mean, this was a big project we just did, and I'm going to bring a 70 year old thing back to life, and yeah. he's had his hand in it now too. So I cannot express enough to you the joy you get when you bring, and it doesn't even have to be a super old engine, no. an engine that you've rebuilt, an engine you swapped out, an engine you've done a major repair or a modification on to life. It's The feeling you get is incredible. It's just give it a shot. Don't let things like this intimidate you. Yep. Ask friends like him to come help you. He is much better, he was, he was much better equipped and knowledgeable about this. I probably could have made it happen, but he made it happen a lot more smooth and we didn't even have 100 percent the right tools and made it through the no job. hell no i had a ten dollar set of uh tap and dies and everything i had came from harbor freight because i'm cheap you know i'm not sponsored by anything either is he we're nope. super cheap so uh go give him a subscribe give him a like leave comments ask us questions uh we're probably gonna have a couple more mashup episodes because oh, i sure. need help on the wheelies i gotta pull the bumper out um i know for sure that's one thing i need your help on i gotta wire tail lights on the f100 that's another thing I need your help on. My viewers don't even know about the Bronco. Oh. But I have a Bronco Ooh. that you're going to be helping me with. <laughs> yes. Yes, the Bronco. Uh, you going to tell them about the Bronco or can we no, wrap this I, up? I can't. You can't. I can't. I can't All say right, anymore. Well. That's enough. All right, guys. Well, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for checking out this thing. And I promise, this time I super promise, next time you see it, it's going to be completely clean. No grease, no oil, no nastiness. Ready for paint. We're ready for gaskets. So, all those parts, same thing. All clean, all ready for paint, ready for gaskets. So, no more nastiness, all clean, hot freshness. But, again, like, subscribe, dingly bell. You want to see more of us. Deuces.